All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the official details for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan Trunks, as well as a new side unit, Heart Disease Super Saiyan Goku, have been revealed on the JP Dokkan Twitter page. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about exactly what both of these units actually do. But before that, let's start by watching the animations for these guys, which I have not seen yet, so what you're going to be getting is my genuine initial reaction. Okay, so let's uh, pause the music here. And I'm going to full screen this, turn up the volume a little bit. And, uh, okay, here we go. Okay, okay, um, so first things first, the Goku, he looks good, he looks decent, you know, um, nothing to complain about, but nothing crazy, it's just kind of like what you would expect from a side unit, so he's fine, but as far as the trunks goes, I mean, I feel like I've told this story before, but when I was watching Dragon Ball Z as a kid, right, and this guy first appeared in the show, he like instantly became one of my favorite characters because he was just such a badass man like we just saw Goku struggle for so long to become a Super Saiyan and then Trunks just shows up out of nowhere and does it so casually and then just slice the crap out of Frieza in like 0.2 seconds you know so to have that moment be encapsulated in this unit is pretty awesome for me personally and uh Obviously, I'm a big fan of this unit already. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably had the same reaction to like Trunks appearing for the first time as I did as a kid, right? But um, yeah, these are these are some clean ass animations, man. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, so good start to the unit, but of course we have to talk about what they actually do because that's also pretty important. So obviously, a big shout out to the homie Goresh for posting these translations, uh, as he always does. I'm gonna make myself disappear here so you guys can see the whole screen. And uh, let's start with the trunks. So, it's uh, Super AGL Teen Trunks, Destiny Changing Messenger. Uh, let's actually make this a bit bigger. There we go. Leader skill, Entrusted Will or Android slash Cell Saga, T plus three, HP plus 130% and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 100%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking, great chance to launch up to two additional attacks, which is 70%. Every time three attacks are launched in battle, launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, able to activate once per turn. So basically the way he works is that he gets the base attack and defense plus 100%, then you get the additional 100% when attacking, and then you have a 70% chance to launch up to two additional attacks. And if you get the two additional attacks, then you launch in another attack, which has a 70% chance of becoming a super attack uh, once every turn. So this guy could in theory launch like, I guess, five attacks in a turn because you get the initial super you get the two additional attacks 
and then you can get another attack from the passive, and then you can get another attack, in theory, from the hidden potential system. So, a max of 5 attacks in total, and 3 possible supers. And that's just for the base trunks, right? And then for the uh, active skill, it's transformation into Super Saiyan conditions, able to be used once 6 or more attacks are launched in battle, once only. And of course, because this guy is getting so many additional attacks on his passive, you could in theory uh, transform after two appearances. So like by the third appearance, you should be able to get that uh, Super Saiyan transformation. Transform into Super Saiyan and stun and seal the current target enemy for one turn. So it's not just a transformation, but you also guarantee stun and seal the uh, enemy for one turn. The links are Messenger from the Future, Cold Judgment, Rail Lineage, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Entrusted Will, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Saviors, Battle of Wits, Super Saiyans, and Transformation Boost. Now let's talk about this Super Saiyan Trunks. Super Attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and passive is attack and defense plus 100% with a great chance to perform a critical hit, gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, and performs a critical hit once only, gains an additional attack plus 50% if the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status, gains an additional attack plus 50% if the target enemy is in the stunned or sealed status, gains a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns if all allies attacking on the same rotation are on the androids slash cell saga category. And then for his links, everything is the same except for Saiyan Warrior Race becomes Super Saiyan. So uh, a lot to take in here, but super attack, greatly raising attack and defense for one turn, really good. And then passive, you have a 70% chance to crit. He has a built-in 70% chance to crit, so you do not have to give this unit uh, critical in his hidden potential system. Additionals are definitely the way to go with him. And then um, you get the additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. And I believe the first attack you launch as Super Saiyan Trunks is a guaranteed crit, right? It says here, perform a critical hit once only. So yeah, I'm guessing what that means is... The first time, the first turn, you transform into Trunks, the first attack is 100% gonna be a critical, and then after that, every single attack has a 70% chance to be a critical, which is still obviously really, really good, right? And then you get the additional 50% attack if enemies attack down or defense down, you get the additional 50% attack if the enemy is stunned or sealed, which obviously will be the case uh, as long as the enemy can be stunned or sealed because the uh, ability, the you know, active skill, guarantees stun and seals the target enemy, right? And then finally, you have a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns if all allies on your rotation are in the android slash cell saga category. So, of course, he is going to be his best when on the team, but like this last part of his passive is not so significant where like you're not going to get a lot out of him if you run him on like a hybrid saiyans or time travelers or any other team where you can't satisfy that condition like obviously this is nice to have because high chance to stun for two turns can be very clutch unlike super battle road and events like that but you don't really need it he's still going to be very very powerful even without that so um yeah this trunks is a monster what what, what more is there to say man he is He's going to be a beast. He's going to be hitting very, very hard. Um, getting a lot of attacks. Like, a lot of attacks. And then... I guess the only thing I wished, uh, or I would have preferred, is that if his like super attack was infinitely stacking. But at this point, I think that would be asking for a little bit too much. Um, I'm sure they took that into account. They were like, if we gave him greatly raises attack and defense with every super, then he would just be way too busted. So... I guess that's understandable, but uh, yeah, he's very, very good, guys. He's very, very good. The okay, one thing that I don't like as well, I guess, if I, if we're nitpicking here, right, if we're actually trying to find like flaws in this unit, um, he's not going to be the most impressive, right, as a first, as a slot one unit, right? So in the first slot, he's still going to be getting 
attack and defense plus 100%, which is fine, but it's not going to give him enough defense to really tank supers before he attacks, so he's most likely still going to be a slot 2 unit, um, like a lot of units in this game, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I am just nitpicking. Uh, it's an awesome unit, <laughs> nonetheless, don't get me wrong, so yeah, man, uh, that's the HL Trunks for you. Now, let's quickly talk about the Goku. Uh, here we go. Fizz Super Saiyan Goku pinched between sickness and an enemy. Leader skill is Turtle School, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack greatly raises attack, causes immense damage, with a high chance of sacrificing 7% HP. Passive attack and defense plus 100%. Gains an additional attack and defense boost up to 200%. The higher the HP, the greater the boost and then gains key plus 5 and chance to perform a critical hit and damage reduction plus 59% and a 59% chance to perform an additional super attack for the first 5 turns from first appearance. After 6 turns from the start of battle, gains an additional defense plus 59% and, HP is, uh, and when HP is 59% or below, gains 59% damage reduction. Alright, so this is a very interesting unit. It's a very interesting unit. You got like two counter forces working against each other. On the one hand, you want him to be at high HP because he gets the biggest boost. He gets up to 300% attack and defense boost, right? When you're at full HP. On the other hand, um, he's hurting you, right? With every super, or at least has a high chance to sacrifice 7% HP. And after five turns, you actually... It'd be good to be below 59% HP because he gets 59% damage reduction, right? So, uh, I guess it's kind of like hard to evaluate this unit just because like, he's very unique. <laughs> he's very unique. But on the surface, right, just at full HP, 300% attack and defense, man. That is, that is crazy. And then for the first five turns, yeah, the key plus five, 59% chance to crit. 59% wait, hold on is it 59% chance to crit uh, chance to perform a critical hit and yeah yeah so 59% chance to crit 59% damage reduction and 59% chance for additional super for the first five turns that's pretty crazy um cool unit man really really cool unit uh probably not great for those like longer or harder events like you know, Infinite Dragon Ball History or Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, where, you know, a unit hurting you or even having the chance to take away your HP with a super is just not a good idea to have. So um, I wouldn't use him for those events, but for shorter events, short to medium events, this guy should be quite a monster because he's getting such a massive boost, so much damage reduction, the additional supers, the uh, crit chance and all that stuff. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, uh, Experienced Fighter, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and categories are Turtle School, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bond of Friendship, and High Speed Battle. So, there you go guys. That is everything that you need to know about the Fizz Super Saiyan Goku, and more importantly, the uh, Tokon Fest AGL Transforming Trunks. Uh, definitely a release that I'm personally uh, pretty hyped for just because of what this moment, what these characters mean to me. But uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Are you guys excited for this Trunks? Do you feel like we didn't need another Trunks? I did see that as well. People are like, there are so many Trunkses in this game already, right? So like, why do we need another Trunks? But I'm one of those people that personally feels like this Trunks specifically right like this a trunks from this moment in the show was necessary and obviously we already have the lr trunks but that guy's pretty outdated at this point and uh his animations are nowhere near as clean as as, as these right so i'm glad we got an updated animation uh trunks from this moment in the show and uh yeah he's pretty freaking awesome man he's he, he's pretty awesome and that's pretty much all I gotta say. That's gonna be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And 
If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Let me replay that real quick. Big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.